Yo, what's going on everybody? So what I wanted to do here is a franchise real quick with the fantasy draft and what we're going to do is start a new one with the fantasy draft and then we're going to kind of simulate a few seasons, make some trades just to see where we're at, but let's go ahead and pick a team here. It's not going to matter which team we pick, so um, I don't know, I'm going to go with like kind of an underdog team here. Who do I want to use? Um, we'll go ahead and use the, uh, we'll use the Marlins, why not? They're uh, they're not the greatest. We'll turn fantasy draft on. We are going to turn um, ignore budgets on, of course, for this one, because if not, you can't actually do a fantasy draft this way. So go ahead and start here. We have the 11th pick. So so how I'm going to guess this is going to go down. It's going to either be Mike Trout or Ronald Acuna from the uh, Braves. You're going to get one and two. Um, I might see a pitcher at the three or four spot, but I think it's going to be two position players to go first here. So Cody Bellinger actually goes second. All right, so what do we have here? We have um, Acuna, Bellinger, Mookie Betts. Mike Trout is four. Okay, Aaron Otto, Alec Bregman, Judge. Uh, pitcher's not taken until the eighth spot. Uh, Juan Soto, uh, Gleyber Torres. So what I'm going to do is kind of fill up my team, um, and then I'm going to pick a bunch of um, prospects, which I can use to trade players away. So let's see, first of all, who the game wants me to choose. They want me to choose Kristen Yellick, which wouldn't be a bad pick. Now let's see what they have here for... Uh, Starting pitchers. Um, so Scherzer's good and Verlander. The age, I'm not going to touch either of them. Um, Garrett Cole wouldn't be a bad pick here, but I feel like I'd rather have somebody who plays every game or like 150 games instead of just once out of every five. So probably not going to go for a starting pitcher. So let's see. Um, catchers, nobody good enough for a first base pick or for a first pick. Freddie Freeman, I wouldn't waste a first pick on. Jose Otuve. Um, Rendon, his age would keep me away from him. Trevor Story wouldn't be bad for a shortstop, but I want a more power bat here. Um, John Carlos Stanton's good. Joey Gallo, um, that's some bad contact, but he has some power. He has, I didn't realize his vision was that bad. 18, I would not be able to hit with him. So Christian Yelich looks like the player. Let's see here. Max Scherzer, Rendon, Verlander, and then Yelich under them. So age-wise, I mean, I'm going to go with him and hope I can get a good starting pitcher next. Um, but it seems like I can pick up some older pitchers towards the end, too, for my team. Like I said, that and prospects. So, um, sucks we're not going to get a pick for a while. There's see Pete Alonzo go. So, let's take a uh, look at this round. So, fall round two, Shane Beaver, Chris Sale, Aaron Nola. A lot of pitchers going. Um, some third basemen. Yeah, just a lot of pitchers. So, um, Clayton Kershaw. One, that sucks he couldn't have fallen to me, dude. That would have been a great pick. So, Let's see again who this game wants me to pick. They want me to take a starting pitcher. So, Steven Strasburg would be a good pick in this spot. Um, let's see who all is available. Uh, DJ LeMahieu, Zach Cranky, Kirby Yates, JD Martinez. I'm going to go in by position because right now Steven Strasburg looks like the pick that I'm going to make. Um, I don't think LeMahieu is worth it, honestly. Zach Cranky's a little too. Verlander and Cranky are too old for me there. Um, I kind of want a guy who I can, if I simulate three seasons with, I can get a full three years without having them retire. So, let's check out the catchers. Um, no one stands out in these positions. Just overall, combined with age, I'm looking for somebody who would be the best fit for me here. Um, like I said, Josh Donaldson, age is a kind of a question. Carlos Correa would be... I think it's too early to take him, though. That would be a good pick. Um, Kettle Martin, or Marte, rather, would be decent. Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Strasburg on this one. I think it's kind of a no-brainer to take, uh, get our ace here in the second round. Carlos Correa went right under him. Okay, so maybe it was, wasn't was too early for him. So let's see what these guys got going on in round three. Um, Grandal went. Uh, Marte went. Closing pitcher went. I think I could still hold on a closing pitcher. So let's, uh, let's see who's available. And let's see the game wants me to take uh, Whit Merrifield from the uh, Kansas City Royals. So... Let's see what all we got here. We've got JD Martinez, uh, Kirby Yates. See, a lot of guys age-wise wouldn't be the greatest here for me, so I kind of want another starting pitcher. Trevor Bauer may not be the worst player to pick up, but I also want another bat. Um, I think I could hold off on a closer for a while here. Anthony Rizzo wouldn't be a bad pick either, but... Let's see, shortstop. Um... No one stands out at me in that position yet. Starling Marte, his age is a little old though. Springer, uh, might be good. So they want me to take... Here, let's compare everybody here by overall. So I'm really not too familiar with this guy. Let's see what his stats are. Um, pretty good fielding, um, solid speed, and really good contact. 
who else would I want to go after? Um, it would be him or uh, I was trying to look for a power bat, but damn, dude, I might take a picture. I think I have to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm taking a picture here. I think I can always find positional players, um, or at least, like I said, I can get prospects and trade for some good positional players. But um, if you have shitty pitching, like you're gonna be screwed here. So we have two pitchers, and we have Christian Yelich in right field. Let's see what they're gonna take. I'm gonna take another pitcher. I don't think I'm gonna do that. So who's available here? Um, Colton Wong, Max Monk, CXC is probably gonna be the pick just because of his power and pretty solid fielding there. Um, Rizzo wouldn't be bad too, so let's uh, scroll through here. Um, there's a uh, catcher's gonna be wearing thin here, but I'm gonna wait till another round or two. Actually, if he had better fielding, that would be worth it, but nah. So oh, I'm looking at Max Monksy or probably Anthony Rizzo. Or Miguel Sano would be good too. That vision just worries me. 16 vision, he's gonna hit like. 250 if he's lucky, so. Um, actually, George Springer wouldn't be a bad spot here, but I'm going to take a solidified first baseman because it's going to start to uh, go thin after a little bit here. So we're going to take Max Monksy from the Dodgers here. I think that'll be a good pick for us. All right, we are in the fifth round so far, so let's see who the game wants us to take. A left fielder. Um, nice to see Andrew McCutcheon on there. He's a little too old for me to take, but um, Azuna seems like a good pick up there. Still some good players. And see, I think Springer would be a better pick up than Azuna for me at least. Let's see what we got for starting pitchers. We have two really good ones. I may hold off on a starting pitcher. I'll probably get somebody older like David Price for the third spot. Um, a solidified guy for the fourth, and then probably a prospect. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to have to go catcher at some point, right? Yeah, we're going to take Mitch Garver. I think that's a good pick there. And then what do they want me to take a left fielder? So, um, who did I take last time? Oh, I took a catcher. That's right. So let's see here. Starting pitching. I think I can go one, one or two more rounds. It's kind of risky to not have a closer, but. I didn't know Starling Castro was thirty. I thought he was younger. So. guys B potential um, I usually look at that too what their potential is because that's gonna signify how fast their stats are gonna go up and everything so what do they want me to take a left fielder and what was I looking at a shortstop um, yeah the overall is a big difference here so I'll probably end up going with this guy Garcia here so take him in the sixth round I'll probably do like 10 to 12 rounds maybe and then simulate the rest of it see where we're at after that um, so I'm gonna take a shortstop that guy's on. Um, this guy is still in there. B potential. Jose Iglesias. I'm going to wait on the shortstop. Who do we get a third? Um, I think I'm going to get Mike Moustakis there. Take a, take a second baseman who can actually hit also. And then I think we got to be looking at closing pitchers right here in the eighth. Uh, they still want me to get a shortstop, but yeah, closing pitchers aren't going to start to look that great here. So I'm going to, uh, we'll take Nick Anderson. I think that seems like a good pick. Just seeing the overalls of everybody that's left. 85. Yeah, we'll take a closer. That seems like a pretty smart pick there. So what are we missing? We need a relief pitcher, third baseman, uh, shortstop, 
Center field. Okay, so we got a few holes here. Kyle Seeger wouldn't be a bad one. Um, JD Davis, let's see what you're at. B potential. Seeger's only a C, which means his stats are probably going to recess the more I uh, simulate here. So um, This guy's still available. I'm going to take this guy, uh, Jorge Polanco from the Twins. Or George Polanco. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but it seems like a solid pick to me. And again, let's take a starting pitcher. So, what major holes do I need to fill? Third baseman. I think I could wait on that and get a third base prospect. Center fielder. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it. What do we got for relief pitchers? See, these guys, their age is kind of up there. Starting pitcher. Um, should I risk it with David Price? Or He's got a high salary. That's the only thing. So, well, I guess I have budget turned off. I don't know why I care. Um, let me see if there's any good prospects here. What's this guy? Still B potential. So I'm going to take a really good pitcher who's older. Um, what's Zach Wheeler at? B potential 85. Hmm. Not sure who to take on this one. See, I think David Price is the... He's the... I don't know, his age kind of annoys me on this one. Let's see who all is available and who all I need. I might just take an outfielder. Uh, Aaron Hicks, you need better speed, dude. You have Billy Hamilton, he can't hit for shit, but he's pretty fast. What else do I need to right now? No, I'm set in the outfield, so. Alright, we're taking this guy. And then the game wants us to take some relief pitchers, so here's what we're gonna do. What positions? Do I have everything but relief pitchers at this point? I need a third baseman, so let's see what we got in terms of prospects down here. I think they have a little red thing when they're like supposed to be a great prospect. Well, that guy's not. But... Let Shit, I might. See, it's kind of early to take him though. But we're going to go back to those guys here soon, so let's see who we want to take now. We'll solidify a good bat. Um, we'll take a... Uh, I'll take Andrew Miller, actually. i will take a lefty guy from my bullpen. He could be the setup man, which will be nice. I think I could still wait on third baseman. Kyle Seeger is still going to be there. If not, I'll pick up a veteran third baseman because I'm going to pick up one of those prospects and see how they do. Um, can I take another starter? Who should I take? Grab this dude from the twin. It seems like half twins players here. <laughs> Center fielder and third base is what we need. Um, Alright, I'm taking Kyle Seeger at this point. And then we'll take uh, we'll take Aaron Hicks for center. Now we're gonna go heavy on prospects, but um, I just want to kind of have a solid team so far. So I think our pitching is good. Um, four really good guys in the rotation. We'll get some guys for the um, bullpen to closing pitcher, catcher, first baseman, second baseman, third baseman. I want to see if that guy from the Pirates is still here. I usually just scroll down and see. Like I said, they'll have his little things. And I think that guy I was looking at got picked up. So. So, uh, let's scroll through here and see if this is the easiest way.
All right, I'm gonna have to scroll through this whole entire freaking list, damn. I may have to switch it up to position based because. All right, yeah. So let's see what the starting pitchers who we could take here. Looks like the prospects kind of got siphoned through already, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let the computer drive for me because let them figure it out. See, they're gonna take prospects anyways at that point. So, turn this all on manual, and we'll go ahead and see what our team is looking right now. We'll si simulate to the regular season. So, once this auto save kicks off here, let me see. So let's go into the standings. This will show the team breakdown. So we are actually the first place team, which is great. So the Braves are 29th, 11th, 10th, 23rd. We're number one. So number one in pitching, number one in power. Our defense could use some work, and we're not the fastest, but I think we're pretty good. So let's check out the roster. So roster looks stacked. So let's check out the starting pitching. We got Strasburg, Clevenger, um, McCullough, a bunch of guys whose names I can't pronounce. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So really good starting five. Uh, bullpen, Andrew Miller's good. Um, we could probably trade for another bullpen guy, but it's not the worst. Shane Green should be all right. Um, closing pitcher, we're good. Catcher, we're solid at. Uh, first base, we're great at. Mike Moustakis, are in second. Third base, we got Kyle Seeger, um, Polanco there. So, what we're going to do, and then we have Christian Yelich. So, we'll set our lineup. Um, yeah, what's up, everybody? For some reason, my um, mic cut out on the live video, but um, next video, we'll be going over the lineup, just doing some trades and stuff. So, sorry for the cutoff, but the other video should be up pretty soon once I edit it. So, thanks for watching.